Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Zahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue the previous video and in this video, we are going to create Flutter Fireblast application from scratch. So the first one is we need to open our favorite IDE. In this section, I use Visual Studio Code. You can use your favorite IDE, you can use Android Studio or you can use IntelliJ IDEA. Alright, so open our Visual Studio Code. And for the very first, to create Flutter project, we need to press Ctrl Shift P. And we see here Flutter new project. And we provide project name. Let's say my Flutter college. And we press enter. And then we select the destination for our project. In this section, I select desktop as my destination and we press enter again and we wait until the creating process is finished all right so as we can see we have created our flutter project and for the very first we need to delete the whole code all right so we say here material app and inside that uh, we say theme and we say theme data and inside theme data uh, we say brightness and we want to set uh, the brightness to be light and after that we say color primary uh, or primary color and we say uh, color dot uh, blue and after that, I want to set a uh, accent color to be shine. All right. And below this theme, we say home. And we want to set a uh, home to be my app. All right. After that, before we haven't yet created this my app, so we need to create my app, which is I want to set it to be stateful widget. So we say here sdfl and i say my app and then we scroll to the bottom and we say here return and we want to return a uh, scaffold and inside a scaffold we want to say a bar and inside that uh, we say a uh, title and we provide text widget text widget here and for the title uh, my flutter college all right so look like that and below this uh, we say body and for the body we say a uh, column and inside that uh, we say children and then again inside that we say text form field and inside that uh, we say decoration and again we say input decoration and then inside that we say label text and we say name which is this kind of like hint so after that uh, we say a uh, fill color and for the fill color we want to set it to be white and again below that we say a uh, focus border and uh, we say outline outline input border and we need to provide uh let's say border side and and then uh, we say a uh, border side and we say again uh, we set the color uh, color uh, to be blue again and we say width we make it uh, 2.0 all right let's run this app all right so we see here we have a text form field but we haven't yet give uh, the padding so uh, below this we say again on change and inside that we say string uh, we say name because uh, we want to get input of our text form field and inside this we say again gets a student name and we say name here all right so after that we haven't yet created this so uh, let's say we want to delete this okay so let's say we give padding and we say here wrap with padding and let's uh, delete this 
and again we say uh, 16 all right look like this and we need to duplicate this and we paste uh, below this uh, let's say three times so we have name but I think we need to reduce our padding so let's say just uh, add this eight this uh, eight this eight all right or I think uh, we need to remove this or we'll change this to only bottom so uh, bottom and again uh, we need to copy this paste here and again uh, this here and the last here all right so we need to wrap our column uh, go here and wrap with padding and we say 16 all right it's pretty much better and we say here uh, student id and here study program and here gpa and let's see here as a study program id all right and for the first we need to give a new method here let's say get a student name and we say name here but we haven't yet created this so inside this we say this is a id so we say here id and this to student id and this to a uh, program id and inside this uh, we say get study program id and we say program id and for the last we need to say here gpa and we say get a student gpa and we say gpa here all right and we scroll and below this uh, we say we need to create a string variable let's say a student name and the second one is a student id and then a study a program id and we need to create a double student gpa all right and we create get a student name and we say a name here and then uh, this student name is equal to name and uh, below this uh, we say again get a student id and we say id inside that and this student id is equal to id and again get a study program id and we say program id inside that and uh, we say again this uh, study program id is equal to program id all right and the, the last but not least get student gpa and we say inside that gpa and we say again this uh, student gpa is uh, equal to gpa uh, but we need to parse this string uh, okay and we say double dot parse and we want to parse uh, this gpa all uh, right so give a semicolon and all right we see error here all right look like this so we have set up text form field for our project and we have uh, declared all the variable that we want to use in this project okay that's all see you on the next video